In this video, I'll give a brief overview of the Datalink add-on, which works with ADS 2019. Datalink's an add-on package for ADS, which allows users to call Python scripts directly from the data display environment. The add-on comes with a complete Python install that's automatically configured to work with ADS. And if you don't know what Python is, it's a really powerful and easy-to-use programming language with all kinds of engineering functionality, so being able to access the power of this tool from ADS is very useful for a lot of different applications, and I'll give some examples later on in this video. Essentially, Datalink contains functions which can be called from ADS data display that can invoke Python scripts and also allow for bi-directional data transfer to happen between ADS and Python. Okay, so I've got Datalink installed and I've opened an example workspace that ships with ADS. To do that, I went to File, Open Example, and then I just did a search for Datalink. And this workspace will walk through some of the basic functionality, and it also provides a few pretty good application examples. So it's a really good way to get started with Datalink if you're new to it. Now in the workspace, there are some simulation results for swept DC voltage and current. And in the data display, this gets passed into a function called DL underscore Python. And that function runs a script named multiply by three dot pi. The equation's configured to not calculate automatically. That's, by the way, a new feature in ADS 2019 as well. In other words, if you uncheck the calculate expression automatically box in a data display equation, you can manually control when the equation gets invoked. And this works for all data display equations, not just data link. But it's really useful for cases when you're trying to run a specific function on some data. So before the equation is computed, it's yellow. And to run it, I just right click and press calculate. Or you can also use the C hot key and then it turns green. So the result of this equation is the input data multiplied by three. In other words, the ADS data was processed through a Python script and the results were returned to the equation output. To view the script, you can go to Tools, Spider, and this brings up a really useful Python development environment. And in the File Explorer of Spider, I can find the script that I just ran and I can take a look at it and even run the script with the data that just got passed in from ADS. And if you look, it's a really simple program here. There's only four lines that are necessary to make this script invocable from ADS. So the first thing we do is import the library of ADS connection functions. This comes with the data link. And then we get the data from ADS. Next, we operate on the data. And finally, we return the result back to the ADS environment. And with this basic structure, you can do some really powerful things by building generally usable Python functions that plug right into ADS. So for example, you can generate interactive 3D plots of simulation data that pop up when a particular equation is invoked. So here I have an S parameter which got swept over voltage and frequency, and I can invoke a function to make a surface plot of that data. So here voltage is on the x-axis, and frequency is on the y-axis, and S11 is on the z-axis. And the nice thing is, as long as the data has the same general sweep structure, the function will work for any input. So I can plot S21 as well by just changing the input to this function and I'll get a new 3D plot. Python can also communicate with instruments on the visa line. Datalink has a set of functions which make instrument connectivity accessible to ADS. So for example, I can connect an instrument um, to an instrument. I can write out a set of Skippy commands to configure a measurement and then I can bring data back into ADS through just a data display equation. These functions don't require any prior knowledge of Python whatsoever. They're just built in and they ship with Datalink. And you can also generate contours for measured load pull data using a built-in Datalink Python function. In this example, the function dlContourPy emulates the other contour functions in ADS, but the difference is that it accepts data which is separately indexed to load value and it also accepts irregular data. And both of those traits are, are common for load pull measurement systems but they're really difficult to deal with using the built-in contour functions which were intended for simulation data. So in this example, I've got power and efficiency data that was measured using a Maori system, and I imported it into ADS using an MDIF file, and now I can pass it into this contour function and just generate contours. So the function invokes a Python script in the background, but to the average user, it just looks like a normal everyday ADS function. So these are just a few examples. There are a lot more capabilities that Datalink can unlock. To learn more, walk through the example workspace that ships with ADS 2019, and you can also access a link on the Keysight Knowledge Center, which will walk you through the basic Datalink operation detail. Thanks for watching.